we've got a remarkable story to share with all of you this evening. This is a unique platform. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your commitment and your support of this unique platform, the Indigenous Peoples Forum. It is precious. We have a story, actually a journey, that we want to take you on. This is a journey that begins in Northeast India, but may very well end up in the fashion houses, in the fashion capitals of the world. At its surface, this is a story about fashion, about art, and about design. Ladies and gentlemen, this story begins in 2010 with a young woman named Janice Lynn Pingrob. She was working for an IFAD project in Northeast India. And through her experiences working with IFAD, she was exposed to the traditions and practices related to weaving and to Sarah culture. This silk is produced by indigenous women weavers in remote villages. Janice Elin is a businesswoman. And perhaps you can imagine the scene when working with these indigenous women, seeing them produce a, high, a highly valued product and a high quality product. We have the business mind and we have the fashion vision meeting together to create a joint partnership, a new business that would focus on producing new fashion designs inspired by traditional legacies and traditional designs. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage Janicelin Pingrob and Daniel Siam. It's definitely all thanks to IFAD because this is what IFAD is all about. It always brings communities together. And as an ex-employee of IFAD for the last seven years, I've worked in projects in um, Northeast India, which is in Manipur and in Ribhoi district in Meghalaya. And I owe a lot, you know, to, the, to IFAD. I, I owe it all to my experiences that I have had in IFAD. If I can do it, all of us here can do even better. And many, you know, there are many areas of opportunities for self-employment. Daniel and I have chosen weaving. And this is what we are today. And uh, the partnership that we have formed is to revive the art of weaving and definitely encourage our women weavers to get into this uh, job, not just as an occupation, but also to look, uh, to look at it you know, as uh, gains of self-employment. A, uh, a very good evening to you all. I mean, this is a surreal moment for me to be here and actually um, showcase our work. And for that, I just would like to start by uh, saying how grateful I am to everyone at IFAD. Uh, you know, Antonella, this started as a little dream when we met in uh, Turin last year. And, uh, you know, it's, I never expected that it would actually come true. I had always wanted to be a fashion des designer. I was one of those uh, people who, you know, those kids who grew up making sketches on, you know, while I'm in this classroom studying. And uh, so finally I got this chance to, to actually take it up and be a fashion designer. But the thing is, uh, I come from a family which is, uh, you know, where my father and my grandfather, they're all social activists. And they've done so much for the community. And for me, as a, as a designer, I always wanted to find a way where I can also promote my people. Because we come from a very small tribal community in Northeast India. Very few people have heard of our place, of Shillong. And my dream was always to, to, to get Shillong on the map. And somehow, I, I wanted to use fashion as a medium to do that. So when I got this opportunity to, to meet the weavers, and I was introduced to this fabric called the Rindia, I was blown away. It's like I had this almost spiritual connection with the fabric when I met with the weavers, started working with them. So for the last four years, when we formed the fashion house, Janice and me, our vision became even more clearer that it's just the clothes that we want to we make or design. We also want to tell a story. We want to tell a story of our community, of our people, of the women, the weavers, and we want to translate that and transcend that into a collection. We're here to tell the story of our community, the Khasi people from Northeast India. I hope you enjoy the collection.